Installing the Brondel Pure Spa Handheld Bidet is simple. Follow these steps to install and use your bidet. Turn off the water supply at the shutoff valve at the wall to stop the flow of water. Flush your toilet and hold down the flush handle until the water is fully drained. Unscrew the flexible water supply line from your fill valve at the toilet. It is important to unscrew the hose from the toilet, not the shutoff valve at the wall. You may want a small bucket or towel handy to catch any residual water. Insert the provided black rubber washer into the T-valve. Connect the T-valve to the fill valve under the toilet tank. Reconnect the flexible supply line to the bottom of the T-valve. Remove the blue caps on the ends of the bidet hose and attach one end of the bidet hose to the open end of the T-valve. Connect the bidet spray head to the open end of the bidet hose. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks. To mount the bidet sprayer to the side of the toilet, attach the bidet holster to the toilet hook using the provided screw. Lift the lid of the toilet tank to hang the toilet hook. Insert the bidet sprayer into the holster. To use the bidet, open the provided T-valve and press the button on the spray head to initiate the flow of water. For safety, it's important to follow our manufacturer's recommendations and turn off the T-valve after each use. Failure to turn off the bidet at the T-valve after each use may weaken the bidet hose or the spray head over time and lead to damages as they are not meant to be under constant water pressure. Congratulations, your handheld bidet installation is complete. Please contact Brondell Customer Support for any additional questions. Installing the Brondell Clean Spa Advanced Handheld Bidet is simple. Follow these steps to install and use your bidet. Turn off the water supply at the shutoff valve at the wall to stop the flow of water. Flush your toilet and hold down the flush handle until the water is fully drained. Unscrew the flexible water supply line from your fill valve at the toilet. You may want a small bucket or towel handy to catch any residual water. Insert the black rubber washer into the T-valve. Connect the T-valve to the fill valve under the toilet tank. Reconnect the flexible supply line to the bottom of the T-valve. Remove the blue caps on the ends of the bidet hose and attach one end of the bidet hose to the open end of the T-valve. Connect the bidet spray head to the open end of the bidet hose. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks. To mount the bidet sprayer to the side of the toilet, attach the bidet holster to the toilet hook using the provided screws. Lift the lid of the toilet tank to hang the toilet hook. Insert the bidet sprayer into the holster. To use the bidet, open the provided T-valve and push the lever on the spray head to initiate the flow of water. For safety, it's important to follow our manufacturer's recommendations and turn off the T-valve after each use. Failure to turn off the bidet at the T-valve after each use may weaken the bidet hose or the spray head over time and lead to damages as they are not meant to be under constant water pressure. Congratulations, your Clean Spa Advanced Handheld Bidet installation is complete. Please contact Brondell Customer Support for any additional questions. The Aquas 360 for Toilet easily installs on standard toilets like this one with a flexible water supply line in less than 10 minutes without tools or a plumber. If your toilet has a hard water supply line like this toilet, please watch the video on the RinseWorks website, How to Replace Your Hard Water Supply Line. To install the Aquas 360 T-Valve, first shut off the toilet's water by turning the valve handle clockwise. Then flush the toilet, holding the flush lever until all the water has drained except for a small amount of water left in the bottom of the tank. Next, place a towel or shallow pan below the waterline connection area. Before installation, make sure this nut above the waterline nut is screwed on tight against the bottom of your toilet tank, which prevents water leaking from the tank and the flusher valve inside the tank from turning when screwing on the T-valve nut. If there is leaking from this nut, 
please see the troubleshooting video on RinseWorks website. Now, unscrew the hand-tight water supply line nut by turning it clockwise, which should unscrew by hand. If the nut will not turn, you may need to use pliers to loosen the nut. After the water line nut is unscrewed, make sure the rubber washer is still in the nut and not damaged, cracked, or brittle. If the washer is not in the nut, it is stuck inside the threads and must be removed. Now, screw the Aquas T-valve nut on the toilet threads. First, make sure the washer is in the nut and push to the bottom. Hold the T-valve with both hands so you can hold the nut level. Then, turn the nut counterclockwise, being very careful not to cross-thread the nut. The nut should screw on easily by hand if the threads are lined up correctly. Before fully tightening the nut, position the valve so you can easily reach the on-off safety valve lever while sitting on the toilet. Then finish tightening the nut firmly hand tight. Do not use pliers to tighten this nut, which could damage the toilet's plastic threads and rubber washer in the nut. Pipe tape or putty are also not needed because the watertight seal is created by the rubber washer in the nut. Next, screw your water supply line nut on the T-valve's male threads. Make sure the washer is pushed to the bottom. Screw the water line nut on by turning it counterclockwise. Be very careful not to cross-thread the nut. Do not use pipe tape or pipe putty because the watertight seal is created by the rubber washer being screwed on firmly hand tight. If you have any leaking from your water supply line nut, please watch the troubleshooting video on the RinseWorks website. Now, screw the hose nut on the half-inch T-valve threads. First, remove the plastic hose nut protective covers from both hose nuts and make sure the rubber washer is in the nut and push to the bottom. Then, screw the hose nut on by turning it counterclockwise, firmly hand tight. The hose nut can also be screwed on the T-valve before screwing the T-valve on the toilet water line threads. Again, be very careful not to cross-thread the nut. Now, screw the other end of the hose on the sprayer threads. First, make sure the rubber washer is in the nut and push to the bottom. Then, screw the nut on counterclockwise, firmly, hand-tight. There is a groove on the bottom of the hose nuts where an adjustable wrench can be placed to turn the nuts tighter if needed. Next, hang the pre-assembled toilet tank clip and spray wand holder over the edge of the tank under the lid. The sprayer holder can also be mounted on the other side of the tank for left-handed users or mounted on the wall by removing the stainless steel clip. The spray wand head fits in the holder like this. Be careful when placing the sprayer in the holder not to move the levers, which will turn on the water flow. To prevent this from happening, always turn off the safety shutoff valve after use of the sprayer, which only takes one second. Next, check for leaks. First, make sure the spray wand and T-valve is off. Then, slowly turn on the water valve for the toilet by turning it counterclockwise and check for leaks. If no leaks from the T-valve, hose, or spray wand, check the spray wand by slowly turning it on, which should allow you to spray a gentle stream to a full pressure jet spray for maximum cleaning pressure. Last, after each use of the Aqua spray wand, always turn off the safety shutoff valve, which only takes one second, just in case there was a leak. 